A year ago this week, the pursuit of former L.A. cop and accused killer Christopher Dorner was reaching its climax. Carter Evans was on the front lines of the final confrontation. When the massive manhunt for cop killer Christopher Dorner ended with an intense gun battle, we were right in the middle of it. I hear some screaming. You heard all that gunfire. I see a team. I see a team of sheriff's deputies in full-on fatigues with weapons drawn running towards us right now. It was surreal. We were pinned down by the gunfire. As I crouched behind the wheel of our car for cover, I could hear bullets whizzing over my head. Dorner was gunning for the law enforcement community, so it was personal for Los Angeles Police Chief Charlie Beck. This was unprecedented. This was a man who was hunting our families. What kind of animal, what kind of monster does this? Christopher Dorner was one of them, an ex-LAPD cop with a grudge, fired for lying in 2009. He struck back with a vengeance, killing the daughter of an LAPD captain, her fiance, and two other police officers. When he was finally spotted in the resort town of Big Bear, he holed up in a cabin and opened fire. As I'm there, I'm thinking, this guy's not gonna come out alive. Yeah. And that was a scary feeling, being right there, knowing that this guy would do anything because he's planning to die. He had already in his mind, in my opinion, uh, decided what the, the end of all this would be. Looking back on this, would you have done anything different? Yeah, I'd have never hired him in the first place. And to have this man's name and deeds attached to this organization, you know, uh, that will forever haunt me. To be in the midst of a gun battle that could have ended so much worse. That will forever haunt me. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.